It's a great day, my amazing CEOs. Building a business is like cooking the perfect burger. You need the right ingredients and a well thought out recipe. And this is one of the challenges that many CEOs face, right? How do they stand out in a crowded market when they don't have the money? And in many cases, they don't have everything they need to get going. Five Guys was no exception. How do they break into this fast food market, if we can call it that, without having a location, without having the money, without having the customers, and oh, by the way, they decided they wanted to charge twice as much for the burger, hmm. So here's the conflict. Unconventional setting, no parking lot, premium pricing, and they had to build their own customer base. And one of the things that Five Guys did, the, the Murrow family, is they had an idea. And the idea was to have the right ingredients. And when they got started day one with their sales strategy in place, they were able to be profitable from day one, unheard of. And they've gone on to do some amazing things. What's the big takeaway that you can have? Because five guys, they didn't cut corners as it related to burgers. They certainly didn't cut corners as it related to fries. They didn't come out and say, we're the new health kick. Instead, they said it's gonna be about service, it's gonna be about quality, and providing something that the market wants. So what's the two big takeaways that you can have? Number one, to build a profitable business is not about pushing the sales numbers, it's about quality. And number two, it's about having the right team in place, sales team, that follows the sales leadership that implements the strategy. And if you do that, you can get into a market that's been around for dozens and dozens of centuries and still have a highly profitable business. And now five guys, I would say they're one of the top five places I love to eat. You like that? <laughs> With that being said, my name, by the way, in all seriousness, is Shea Brown. And I want to welcome you to the CEO Sales Huddle. I always like to start off every single morning with what our personal mantra is. And this is something that we say every single morning without fail. And go ahead and jot this down in your notes. Let me see if I can pull it up and see if I can get this thing right here. There we go. Go ahead, go ahead and put this down in your notes right now. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business. Go ahead, like, like right now, put that down. If you can't focus on sales, you can't be in business because sales is the oxygen for any great business in history. And as I'm talking to folks who are getting ready to have an amazing month, an, an amazing year, some of them will just focus on today, and I'm asking them, what are they doing as it relates to sales? And you know what? It's not even top of mind. They're too busy to focus on that right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, in all seriousness, you're here, you showed up, you understand it. If you can't focus on sales, you just can't be in business. Now, there are three things that we do every single morning as well. And as this is something I believe that every CEO should say. Now, I'm trying to do two things at one time, by the way. So, so thanks for focusing in on me, by the way. And, and here it is. I believe that every morning a CEO must say these three things. I must learn, earn, and return. We're going to show that to you. Learn, earn, and return. And go ahead and look on the left-hand side and follow along with me, follow along with me, and repeat after me as we say these things. This is our pledge. I have to learn something new in order to earn new revenue from current clients in order to get new and old clients to return. Learn, earn, and return. And that's very important. That's something that we need to do every single day. As a CEO, we're always looking to get better. We're always looking to take it to a whole nother level. Now, we've got, we've got a couple of different objectives here. Our number one objective is for sales progress. So you show up for CEO Sales Huddle. You give us 15 minutes every single day so you can see your sales progress. We're going to do that. Number two, we're going to address any roadblocks. Uh, we're not going to think that every day is perfect, but we know one day, every day we get a little bit better and a little bit better and a little bit better, so we're going to address the roadblocks. And number three, we understand the five sales pillars that every CEO must know in order to grow. Oh, how to open this thing up? Oh, here we go. In order to grow and to make money. Now, I, I want you to go ahead and repeat after me. I got to cut these two off. There we go. Objectives. And here they are. And we're at the where are we at? With the four minute and 27 seven, 20, four minute and now 32 second mark. Number one is sales planning. It's not about just having a revenue goal. It's about what is the plan in place to hit that revenue goal. Number two, the sales cycle. How do our clients come in? How do we attract? 
how do we connect, and then how do we convert. That's very, very important. And then number three, number three is our sales positioning. That's the messaging, the language that we're going to use. Sales drives marketing. Marketing does not in any way drive sales. Okay, so it's the words we're going to use that will make us rich. Number four, sales indicators. We have the CEO sales dashboard. Something that was created is yours. There's no cost, and it's the number one sales tool that CEOs use to get to $100,000 a month. We're going to talk about that. We spent about three minutes on that. And number five, number five, I want you to know this backwards and forwards, and that is the sales team. You've got to generate revenue. If you don't generate revenue, there's always more money going out than there is coming in. So therefore, sales is serious business. It's serious business. Now, if you haven't downloaded your CEO sales dashboard, we're going to go over in just a moment. Look, slow down with me. Hang in there with me. Go out there right now. Go to www.ceosaleshuddle.com and download it. If you didn't get it for whatever reason, the email didn't go through, send me a note, DM me. I'll get it to you right away, by the way, because we're going to talk about that in just a moment. Now, we have a couple of outcomes of us, reason that we get together every single day. Now, first, for all the folks who show up every single morning, you're here at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, do me a favor as I quickly do a quick review of the outcomes. Look right below the video, look right below the video, and put a hashtag, I'm here. Hashtag, I'm here. You're here, you're showing up, and yes, you're a CEO, but this is the number one goal you have every single day is to be able to increase the business by bringing in new clients. Okay, so thanks for being here. If you're watching the replay, hey, you're still in the game. Look below the video, put hashtag replay. For those folks who are on the podcast, you're on the On Demand channel. Some of you, um, I get a chance to see on different platforms. We have syndication agreements. Do me a favor, shoot me a DM over at, at I am Shay Brown. I respond to every comment and say, Shay, I'm here in the conversation. Okay, for those folks that are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is your very first time. The whole purpose of the CEO, why we get together, is a place where CEOs gather to learn how to sell more faster. So we understand you know how to sell. We get that. We get that. And all we ask for is 15 minutes a day. So there are 1,440 minutes in every day. I'm asking for less than 1% of your day, about 15 minutes in order for us to share and be in this conversation so you can measure, you can manage, and you can watch your sales continue to increase so you can purchase the resources that are necessary to execute the big vision you have for the people you were called to serve. Because without the sales, without the revenue, well, then you've got to use your credit cards. You've got to use your bank account. You've got to self-fund it. We do not want to do that. So sales is really serious business. What is our big why? That question comes up often. So let me go ahead and share it with you right now. It's about three things, and that's why we show up. Number one, it's about sales growth. Now, you can build the business and generate more revenue from existing clients. But when you want to grow the business, you must bring in new clients. Okay, you agree with that. Number two is about accountability. You may have heard this before, but it's so true. We'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. And so we ask you to be accountable. Number three is consistency. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, what do most people struggle with most? They struggle with consistency. So we have one outcome. And like, Shay, boil it down. Just give me one outcome. I'm here. I show up and I'm looking forward to doing the CEO sales dashboard. I love that. I love when you give the message of the day. But what's the outcome? $100,000 per month of consistent, predictable, reliable income. That's our number one outcome. You have $100,000 going into your bank account over and beyond whatever's going in there today. And I want you to think about how your life would be different, how your business would be different, how your family situation would be, be different, how much more impact you're gonna have in the world because you have more income. And when you make those dollars, you will make more of a difference. So I'm looking forward to, to sharing that with you. We're gonna get into probably the most important part that we do every single day. And it's called the CEO Sales Dashboard. Now, I love the CEO Sales Dashboard. It was created because there was a problem. And the number one problem in the market was folks said, look, I need to not only know my number, Shay, but I need something that's simple, that's easy. I have a CRM system, and for those that don't know, I have Infusionsoft, or maybe you have Active Campaign, or maybe you have Salesforce, or whatever system you have. And for whatever reason, there are five categories that every single day you can't pull out that system as fast as you want. And those categories are leads, appointments, offers, 
deals and repeat business. So there's five categories that we look at every single day. So I want you to open up your CEO sales dashboard. I'm going to go to that in just a moment and I'm going to show it to you in Excel. We created it because of this one reason for all CEOs. Put this down in your notes, please. I want you to have this. Don't forget this. What gets measured gets managed. Put down your notes. What gets measured gets managed. So now you're going to measure the key areas in the business. So let's see if we can go here. Okay, you see, do, do, do. there we go. You don't need me up there because this is way too big and I'm on a much smaller screen in a different place. All right, hopefully you can see this. If you can see this, great. So you open up the CEO sales dashboard. Inside the CEO sales dashboard, it is an Excel sheet. Now, we are currently at the 10 minute and 17 second mark. So I'm gonna take three minutes and go through this. We have leads, we have appointments, we have offers, we have deals, we have repeat business. Now I don't care if you yourself have to fill this out. It doesn't matter to me if you get your assistant to fill it out. It doesn't matter if you pay someone to fill it out. But right now, I want you to pull it up. You're gonna take three minutes a day. Now, here's how we look at it. Across the top, you got one through 30. One. Here's abbreviated so you can see it. And then we're gonna to go to one category, day, appointments. And here's the question. Nothing happens without an appointment. So how many appointments were set yesterday by your team? How many appointments were run yesterday by your team? How many appointments do you have set on the calendar today? And it doesn't matter what type of appointment it is. It could be a one-to-one -one appointment. That means you're gonna be meeting with someone. I get it, I get it. I'm, 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 I'm picking up what you're putting down, Shay. Okay, it could be a one-to-one -one appointment. It could be an appointment for you to actually go one-to-many. So maybe you're going one-to-many. Maybe you're going to one-to-many. That's pretty cool. Maybe you have an appointment to collaborate. So collaboration, one of my 12 rules for life, collaboration crushes competition. So maybe you're looking at collaborating, you have appointments for that. Or maybe you have an appointment system focus on referrals. Whatever it is, nothing happens without an appointment. And so while there's five categories there, I always go deep in one area and I talk about appointments because, and here's the point I want you to get as we roll up to the 11 minute and 40 second mark. Here's the point I want to make around appointments in the 60 seconds I have. When you're setting the appointment, you want to focus on the benefits of the appointment, not the benefits of the product or service you're going to be offering. So many times when I'm working with clients, I'll give you another example of one of the clients I was working with. Let's call him James. And James was really struggling to set appointments. And when James was talking to folks, and James sells uh, coaching services, and helping businesses grow. When he was focused on setting an appointment, he's always talking about how he's going to help them grow their business, how he's going to help them be able to do that with the product or service he has. And I share with James that the benefits of the appointment are different than the benefits of the product or service. So what if he focuses on how he's going to give them a customized idea, how he's going to share a strategy they can implement in their business with or without him, he'd probably be able to set more appointments. And that was the promise of the appointment. He has to fulfill that promise. And as a result, his appointments went up. And then what do you think happens when you have more appointments? When you get in front of more qualified people who have a problem and you just share how you solve it. Now you're not selling. You're just saying, you've got this problem and I've got a solution. And so you focus on solutions, not just the problems. It just made a huge difference to him. Okay, we're at the 12 minutes and 57 second mark. CEO sales dashboard, fill that out. Drop me a comment over at, at I am Che Brown and just say, completed my CEO sales dashboard for today. Like, like seriously, just send me a personal message. You can go right to social media, go right to Instagram, that's my jam. Drop me a DM and just put CEO sales dashboard done. CEO sales dashboard done. That's the bat signal that you completed the CEO dashboard. Don't do it for me, do it for yourself. I'm on a rant, I get that, I get that, I get that now. Get back on track, but I want you to hear where my heart is. What gets measured gets managed. And sales is important to the business. Sales is the oxygen to any great business in history. Sales will solve any business problem. You don't need to know that. I just want you to, to hear it. Um, and I want you to take action or assign it to someone on your team, but get it done. Okay. Now, one of the things we love to do is we love to also celebrate any of the wins that we've had. This is another segment we have as we hit the 14 minute mark. And there's three questions that we like to ask ourselves every single day because we're not going to just beat ourselves up. So the first question is, what are you most proud of? You look at yesterday's results. You look at what you focused on yesterday. What are you most proud of? And then number two, what was your biggest accomplishment? Sometimes, you know, we beat ourselves up. We beat ourselves up. No, no, not right now. We're going to step back. We're going to toot our whole own horn. What are you most 
proud of. Like if I could bring you on here live now, which I really wish I could do, and you could just brag for a moment, what would you want to brag about? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me. And then the next segment we have is another one of my favorites, or it would be my favorites, or we wouldn't be doing these segments, obviously, which is overcoming hurdles. And we're not going to just think the world is perfect. I don't want you to feel that way. I want you to know the world is not perfect. And so I want you to think right now, what was your biggest roadblock that you had out there? What is preventing you today from moving forward in sales? Is it you really got to download the CEO sales dashboard? Is it you really got to have a system so it can be set up and done every day? And, and, and the last one is, what's the one thing that you could do that only you could do that if you did it, it would change your life and or business? See, one of the things I like about Five Guys, one of the things that they did differently, one of the things that made them unique and different, I feel, is that they were able to go out and although they never had a, a place like McDonald's where there was a big parking lot out front, got it, although they weren't in strategic locations off in rural areas, got it, and although they were getting into the hamburger and french fry market, come on now, and charging premium double what other folks were charging for it, one of the things they had inside their sales strategies, they asked just this one question. How can I best serve my clients? And in doing so, well, the numbers speak for themselves. I think they were one of the top five franchises last year. So not a bad deal. Now, what does that mean to you? We're at the 15 minute and looks like 53 second mark, by the way. So I know I've gone over a few seconds here, but I want to go ahead and share with you the message of the day. And the message of the day is get started. Get started. Now, there's a lot of areas you can get started in your life. You can get started in your health. You can get started in your, you can get started in your finances. You can get started um, I'm focused on personal development skills. But today I want you to get started in getting the CEO sales dashboard downloaded. And then I want you to go ahead and complete it for today. Now, just start today. Don't try to go back the last 31 days. Start today. I've heard a saying, I love it. When's the best time to plant a tree? Well, it was 10 years ago. Then when's the next best time to plant a tree? It's right now. So you're going to start right now. It is now o'clock time. You got this. You're amazing. You're a CEO. Drop me a comment over at, at I am Che Brown at I am Che Brown. Let me know what you enjoy most about today's session or look right below the video. If you're watching live and you're able to find it on social media and you can look right below the video, drop a comment. Just put a comment and right down below. Just put I am a champion. Now, you're a CEO. I know it sounds kind of corny, but you're going to make that proclamation to someone else to put down I am a champion. And that's the bat signal that you're taking action because the universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. Okay, that's my rant. I'm done. Thank you for tuning in for, to the, uh, the CEO Sales Huddle. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve you. I'm looking forward to connecting with you. Make sure you download us. We're on iTunes. We're on all the podcast stations. Make, you, make sure you connect with us over on YouTube so you can stay connected and get all the goodies before anyone else. With that being said, my name is Shay Brown. Thanks for serving. Make it a great day, everyone. And we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless and keep doing God's work. We're out.